Chris from Shea Coop here. I'm here at the Old Church Bakery on a collaborative project. We're making Shea Sauce. So follow me and we'll show you what this wonderful Christmas delicacy will be like and how to make it. We're just getting ready preparing the Shea Sauce and I want to talk a little bit about the l'histoire de la Shea Sauce. Uh, so the, the croissant, although we're making chaissons, uh, started in France. Fun fact that the croissant actually started in Mennonite settlements and it was kind of an offshoot of something, a sweeter bun to have with the Zama borscht. And so the chaissons, which we call croissant, oh, the croissant, that croissant, is kind of a Mennonite delicacy that the French have stolen from us. We're here at the dough station. You'll notice that this dough, uh, this actually is not a beach towel. This dough was made two days ago. We then folded butter into it. Uh, and now we're gonna roll it flat so that we can cut it into our croissants. I did understand that there was maybe some, uh, a problem with acquiring the ingredients because when you use your credit card, you didn't have enough dough. Whoa! Whoa! What is happening? What are we doing? Are we flattening the towel? We are gonna flatten the towel now. So we use this machine, which is very dangerous. Don't put your fingers in it. Yeah, no, okay. okay. I just keep pressing it. Okay. Just back and forth over and over again until it's exactly what I want it to be. And is it is it what we want it to be? Nearly. Oh yeah. Now we need to go the other way. Oh, the other way. Yeah, and then we'll just keep going back and forth. As you can tell, the chaisant is a very precise uh, procedure here. And the, the towel has now transformed into a table runner. Perfect. All right. So well, that's awesome. I just need to get it onto the table for us. Could be a very complex day. Whoa! Automation. Automation. Look at that. Oh, my word. Can I unroll it? Yeah, that should work. Okay. I am now unrolling the key components of the chaisson. Wow. That was flawless. <laughs> I understand, Jojo Rabbit, that people have described you in the in the bakery world, the ecosystem, as a bit of a a radical baker. Mm. Uh, because a lot of, often you like to go against the grain. We're measuring. <laughs> I can't get salmonella from raw dough, can I? 100%. <laughs> right. Okay, precision, precision, I like it. All right, so we're gonna cut a couple pieces that we can roll chocolate into. Ooh. That will be a Chaisant de Chocolat. Well, I understand you have a special connection with one of our employees at Chez Coop. It's pretty special, yeah. Yes, I heard, is this truth, that the first time she saw you, she walked across the room and asked you, you must be a baker, because you got a great set of buns. <laughs> is that true? Totally 100% true. On your first date with Hannah, who works for Sheku. Is it true that you brought her flour? Yeah. <laughs> As you can tell, we have cut the chaissons into iPhone-like pieces. And we are now going to add the chocolat or la baton orange baking stick. Oh no, that's the English, sorry. <laughs> Baton Boulanger and baking sticks. I'll grab one of these iPhones as yeah. you yeah. point it out. And I'll put one stick, hold, one stick, hold, last stick, hold. Le chocolat, here, and full, and pinch. Then another chocolat, fold, pinch, and then another chocolat, and now here and attach. 
Oh, oh, seam down. Seam down. Seam down. Seam down. Seam down. Seam down. All right, we're here now with the Shea sauce. You'll notice that it's very, very precise here, this temperature. Sometimes what I like to do is just put a little tray of water just to get a little bit more humidity to get the chaissons fluffy, delicate, and wonderful. But we're here and we're about 10 minutes away from these being complete. If you kind of take a look here, you'll see that there's a little something special on each croissant because you're special. All right. This is the mixer. Uh, I know throughout this video, there's been uh, a few jokes made, and I've been hearing from a few people that they find them a little stale. It's the final countdown. We are going to pull the chaissons out of the oven. Oh, alert, alert, alert. Whoa, Whoa. glass has got a little fog there. Whoa. And voila! We have our chaissons, thanks to Jojo Rabbit. I understand you have a dog. I do, yeah, a what black kind? lab. Is it a purebred? We have a, a German-speaking uh, employee, uh, and I was just curious if we have any German bread. Uh, we do have this heavy rye, yeah. Oh. Uh, do you know how you would say hello to a, a German bread? I don't. Gluten talk. 